What is going on guys? Zach here from Hagus Butt Nuggets and Yeah, um Hagus Ventures on YouTube and uh I'm out here. I started to get the burn barrel going and start burning trash, but uh I'm just out here just watching over the chickens and ducks and I figured that hey, why not uh give a little update, just uh make a little video. So today Actually, yesterday, I should say, I um, started to work on the quack shack and um, put the roof on it. I didn't uh, video it, but I might do it. I got a stain and um, put the rest of the, the stuff on top, so I might video that. But I'll see if I can turn around here. But I got all, I had put the, well, I thought that was already there. But I put all the rafters down, across, and then I'm putting a little bit of strip of, uh, it's a one by ones across. I got four of them, one on top, one bottom, two in the middle there. And I'm putting there, and uh, so I didn't put, I didn't do that. It was getting late, and uh, well, it looked like it was about to storm. So I just did that quick, and you see the ducks playing in the pool. And those are the ducks I'm actually thinking about selling. But uh, I just don't know what to sell them for yet. But, but we'll figure that out. Um, also, with that coop, which is for calling the hospital coop, we are thinking about actually moving that back in and changing that from the animal coop into the birdie butt hut. Because I got, um, let me zoom back out here. I got a birdie hen in that one, and two in that one, and that one's an under egg. So I'm thinking about taking them and putting them in either the one down there, or, and then putting these side by side for them to uh, sleep in and whatnot, or, and then, or whatever. But I'll probably change that one into the birdie butt hut Keep it, bring that one in, bring it right beside that one. I wanna, I, if, whenever I get time, I do wanna take that and move it somewhere else for the Polish and RJ and his two girls. Um, yeah, but uh, let's see here. Let's see if I can find up, oh, there's the baby ducks. Uh, they're about, let's see if I can catch them before they walk behind. Nope, I didn't catch them. Yeah, I'll just wait till they move up. Come on the other side here. There's a little fluff head coming out, and it's a little buddy are out there. There's the two guineas. There's one of the turkeys. There's Theo and one of the bard rocks. And there's Buffy and I think it's Rhode Island, and uh, I'm not exactly sure what the other brown one is. But, so I decided, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at me. Oh, and while we're here. Oh, the baby chicks. Oh, I wonder why that, how that moved. Let's move this back. A lot of the water already spilt. There's the baby chicks, they're do, all doing well. I put them back in this after the storm. Got them a uh, new bulb to keep them warm at night. I still didn't get that one that passed, there was one that passed away. I still didn't get a replacement for it, but I'm not too worried about it. I can always get more chickens. And then that one decided to jump in here. And well, jump out of it. But anyways, uh, I'm trying to think of what I was about to say. Oh, so I've been thinking about, I know a lot of people are gonna be mad at me probably from doing this, but I thought about during the day, not throwing, or in the morning, throwing feet out, only feet, throwing feet at night to enter coops and being, getting them more um, reluctant on bugs and using that for their diet and instead of using, going for feed. Cause I know a bunch, a lot of the chickens, they don't come out early enough and I know they don't get the feed anyways. So like for the compost pile, for example, like going over there, 
of the start of the compost pile and getting the bugs out of it, getting the, um, all the, just the bugs, the flies, the whatever, like the ducks are about to, probably about to do. And whatever, uh, all the scraps and all the junk that I throw down there um, with it, just getting out of that instead and getting them what they're actually used for, well, used to in the wild, getting them used to being on the bug dye and grass and that stuff instead of, I don't know why I put you down there, but um, instead of just relying on feed, yes, I know in the winter, it's go they're going to need feed. I know that. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to be fine with giving feed in the winter. But in the summer months, they they need to be more wanted on bugs. So I think I'm going to change them that. And that chicken flew back out. But um. But and also, it doesn't matter how much feed I give them anyways. They haven't been laying um, like they should. I guess they're just going through one of their times. And put the lid back on the screws. But uh, just going through one of their months, I've been getting four, six, I haven't even been getting a dozen lately, eggs of all the chickens that I have. And a lot of them should be laying, or mass majority of them should be laying right now. Um, except for all well, the turkeys. And all the younger ones, I mean, well, those two definitely should be laying. Um, the guineas, they should be, honestly, that female should be laying here directly. They're in, in the coop down there, which I did have the babies in. And the two birdie hens, and then the baby, I don't know where, oh. And then the baby still released, which is probably going to go to a new home tomorrow. Um, one of my buddies um, who has bought chickens off me before um i asked him if he w would want it because he the babies that he got off me before um he thinks i'm going to go and double check tomorrow he's going he thinks that there were all um most majority of the roosters so he, uh he's going to take that probably off my hand or take that one off me um but yeah, so while that's burning down up there, all these ducks are look like they're having a good time. There's Brandon up there. Surprisingly not being a terror. But yeah, so I'm hoping um, they can start, well, bugs get in here, they can start in here, and the grass is high enough that they should be able to bugs should be going in there and they shouldn't be able to get it, um, find the bugs in there and whatnot but um also i gotta figure out i want to get a spray that i could come around and like and kill all the weeds and all the brush and the outside of the coops i that's pet friendly and whatnot I was trying to look some stuff up. I'm gonna try to do a mixture. It was white vinegar, I think, and salt. I am going to try to mix that up and see what it does. I'll probably start with something like here and where the old garden was and see if it works. I'll probably spray it down here before I waste and make a big batch and go and spray it all. And I'll, well, I might do up there too where all the, I'll pull all those weeds and stuff, the big weeds, and probably spray that all that down. See if it works. Um, and go from there. But let's go and check. Go check on the Polish and RJ and the two girls, and then we'll go up to the garden and check on the garden here. Kids are inside watching Mickey, their favorite show. There's Pepper. Pepper, what are you doing? Pepper. 
salt and so the one behind salt with the white head i'm pretty sure pretty confident well he's a, that's also a male we've called him einstein uh, there's rj um there's one of his females black one and then you got betty white out there and then you got this little female i think she's a self part selkie there's rj's other little girl and then you got that female but so i started this is where the coop was i cleaned that i started cleaning that all that out and pushed it back over there so hopefully the grass starts growing back um and then we're gonna i guess tonight probably or tomorrow we're gonna go and go through these chickens here and see which ones have grown back better maybe need a couple more a little bit more time and well either way we'll probably push this back into the coop and then go from there but there's that i need to move that straw out of there go up here to the garden which the pumpkins i mean i'm hoping they start growing i haven't really seen anything I, I guess it might be a little too early i don't know but like they'll bloom and then the the flowers the orange will go like just you see like wither away so i think and i think that's what starts the um pumpkin off but i'm not sure we're just going with it checking from there but you see a little bit more of cucumber starting you got that big one there you got this big boy here it's going pretty well Got a few there growing. And I know it's oh this is fell again. That's the only bad thing about rocky mountain land. I can't get it stable down enough. But you got some my tomatoes are actually growing now. Next year I'll be more on the ball about getting this stuff planted and into the ground, so I have them earlier. But it is what it is. And then you got all these little guys. Got one growing there. You got a few growing in here, slowly. You got ones growing there. Slowly but surely, corn's growing up, which, which is nice. It'd be nice to have some corn. I don't know what this guy is. But, yeah, so there, that's the update on the garden here. It's nothing too extravagant, but it's better than nothing. So, I am going to pick this up later tonight. Uh, I'm going to hang out with the kids for a little while. Uh, I know my parents are coming up later. Um, I guess they need to get the trailer. And I don't know what else is going on, but maybe tomorrow I'm, when I'm at my buddy's, uh, I'll bring you out and uh, show, him the, show you all the flock that he got off of me and we'll go from there. But so stay tuned and we'll go from there. Well guys, I came out to get um, eggs and uh, I went to go check on the baby and unfortunately it passed away. Didn't even make it a day. I don't know if the uh, moms did it or what, but it is what it is, I guess. We'll try it again next time. Well guys, Roll King got us again. Stopped by and they had a bunch of dollar chicks down so 
Here's two more baby chicks. We got two speckled susexes, two more barred rocks, two Jersey Giants, two Brock Brahmas, uh, two Ar Black Arthurops. don't remember what else there's two more of but they will be going to have friends over there with the nine others and so I'm going to try to prop you up and so you can watch me put them in there so they can have their little buddies or maybe I'll just hold the camera while I do it I don't know yet but uh, let's do it right here All right, come here. Here's the first little one. That's a Buff Brahma. Put it in there. I think this is one of the Black Ostrops. There's the next one. And you can't beat them for a dollar. There's a little Brahma with the feather feet already. There's, I don't remember what that one is. And there's a twin to that one. All right, that is done. All right. Here's a barred rock. Get the other barred rock out here. I think that's a giant. Here's a speckled susex. I believe that's another Jersey giant. And the last one, speckled two sets. All right, that's it. So guys, thank you for watching the, the video. Um, I don't know exactly what we're going to get into next video, but we'll go from there. But um, as you see, we'll keep update on the little ones. And yeah, so thanks for watching the video. If you haven't, please go and like and subscribe on the video. And we'll see you on the next one.